<laughs> so what time is it? It's story time, story time. Story time. Story time. We're back after a while of being away. Anyway, so tonight's story time is Tig and Tog, the discovery. Okay. <laughs> What's disgusting? Yes, Pooh is disgusting. Okay, so Tig and Tog, the discovery. Okay? Huh? By Sally Garland. Tig didn't want Tog to play with the stick. It was her stick. We got a so she stomped away and sat alone, drawing in the snow with it. Then Tig noticed something strange and interesting sticking out of the ground. She used her stick to scrape and scratch the earth. But the stick wasn't enough. She needed something else to dig it out of the ground. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. What do you think it is? Asked Tog. Tog took a spoon out of his pocket and he sat down to help Tig. With the spoon, they scooped and ladled the earth, but it was no good. The spoon wasn't enough. They still needed something else to dig the thing out of the ground. Yeah. They need something else to dig out of the ground. What do you think they need? Mm. A shovel, maybe. Yeah. In a nearby sand pit, Tig and Tog found a little plastic spade. With the little spade, they dug and dug. But even the spade wasn't enough. They still needed something else to dig the thing out of the ground. Don't argue, you two. You love each other, really. Yes, you do. No! Mwah. Yes, you do. No. So you can see they're struggling. Not even with the plastic spade. The spade. No. Tig and Tog looked for something else to help them dig. Looking around, they saw a bucket in a muddy puddle. Tog pulled it out using the stick. Tig and Tog took turns filling the bucket... Oh, with earth and tipping it out. But even the bucket wasn't enough. They still needed something else to dig the thing out of the ground. Yeah. Yeah. I say no, yes. No, yes, no. Can you see what it is? asked Tig. It's so strange and big. It looks like white stones, but it's too long to be stones, said Tog. Let's keep digging and find out, said Tig and Tog together. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? Ha ha ha. After a lot of searching, Tig and Tog found a wheelbarrow and a big shovel <laughs> with the big shovel Tig and Tog were able to dig deeper and they could move oh no we've lost the page and they could move more earth with the wheelbarrow but even the wheelbarrow and shovel weren't enough they still needed something else to dig the thing 
out of the ground. Crikey. How big is this thing? Wonder if we can guess if I get my hand out of the way. What do you think it is? A uh, yes. A uh, yes. <laughs> all day long, Tig and Tog worked together using all yes, the tools yes, they had found. They scratched, scooped, dug, tipped and shoveled the earth around. But even with all these tools and all their hard work, they still needed something else to dig the thing out of the ground. Crikey, this is huge. It's not me. No, I know it's not you. Suddenly, Tog had a brilliant idea. What's he got? A, a trap. Got something on, yeah. Leaving Tig scratching her head, Tog soon returned with a big yellow digger. Digger. Digger, yes. With three mighty shovels, the digger cleared the earth. Tig and Tog both looked on in amazement at what they had found. Crikey, look at that size of that big yellow digger. It was the most enormous dinosaur skeleton. Isaac, what is it? Dinosaur. Clever boy. There you go. Dinosaur. Look, everybody. A dinosaur. A dinosaur. And the stick. Tig decided to share the stick with Tog. After all, she couldn't have made the discovery without him. And from that day on, the two friends always shared everything. <laughs> wow. Well, that was a nice story. And look, there they are. There's their dinosaur. And it says Stegosaurus found by Tig and Tog with a stick. So, Scarlet... What does that tell you you've got to do? What's um, what's a nice thing to do when you've got toys and stuff? Um, tidy up. Tidy up, yes, that's a good one. But also, if you're playing with someone, yeah. is it good to share? Yeah. Yes, it is. No. Okay, in a bit. Say no night to everyone. No night. Just to the camera. <laughs> no night, everybody. Mommy, Remember, see you soon on Story Time.